Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you, another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks, sampler platter video series of these I've been doing for a while now, where I go over there, try food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff, folks, then I talk about stuff. I'm gonna let you know all you need to know about hopefully delicious crap that, uh, you know, I'm gonna go over there and I'm gonna give a shot and we're gonna see how it goes. I'm gonna try not to pass any judgments until afterwards. All right, don't judge. Whilst I'm doing so, beer can Thunderbolt posters, crappy old ladder, there's some Marvel figures, and on top of that, I'm wearing a cool shirt. When I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. Boom! Star Trek shirt, Mr. Spock. Trek yourself before you wreck yourself. I love this shirt. I've had it for a number of years now, to the extent where when I first bought it, it fit better because I was less fat. <laughs> Though, to be fair, that isn't necessarily a timeline thing. It is in this instance, but, you know, obviously you can go up or down depending your weight and such so and by the way don't beat yourself up about it too much you know if you're over there you, you know hey i i do this show but on top of that you know weight stuff is difficult to deal with so and don't be an asshole to people i'm gonna get to that later on in the thing but you know just you know try to try to live your best life what, anyway what am i trying for y'all today folks well we're gonna try this because it was the thing i got to boom it's pedal it's Sparkling Original Rose, naturally flavored botanical beverage. Raise your vibe. Uh, it's got a thing. Taste the power of petal. Petal is rebelliously refreshing and wildly delicious. Every sip, a hint of rose petal perfection. And it's low calorie, sweetheart. Sure, why not? Pure organic bliss. Here's the OG rose blend of Cleopatra's fave elixir of love. God damn it, they're wordy with this. We just added the sparkles. So drink pedal and radiate your inner rebel. Sure. Blast your tunes. <laughs> Sing out loud. Do hot yoga and dance till time. What the fuck is the marketing on this? You done fall in love with everyone. Power of... <laughs> They're like, yeah, you're a rebel. Blast your tunes. Drink rose stuff. I don't know. That's so weird. It's like... They kind of, like, mixed somewhere between, like, I mean, I guess it's supposed to be in, like, a kitschy, trendy drink, but, like, they went sort of, like, half-hearted energy drink motto in it, like, you know, like, Monster Energy, they always have, like, a little backstory for every one of their flavors on their cans. It's like they hired that guy, brother, who's not as successful or good at wording things. It's so wordy and weird and, like, mm whatever anyway it's like a rose petal flavored sparkling drink i guess it's no caffeine usda organic 15 calories i i mean i'm guessing it's just a the sparkling rose water i guess um i've had like botanically flavored things before they can be really good but you really 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 need to get it right uh, cause if you do it too much, it just tastes like you're trying to drink a goddamn flower and that's not a great thing. Um, so I saw this, went to a supermarket and I went to a sushi section and they have like this little cooler filled with like weird drinks and like kombucha and stuff. Which, by the way, I did a review for a couple of organic kombuchas. Look up that video. And they had this and I figured, all right, what the fuck ever, man. I mean, I don't know if it's going to be good, but it's definitely something I can review. So anyway, let's give it a shot. Open up the thing. It smells botanical, which has me a little bit worried just because if I can smell it that distinctly, then, mm, yeah, okay, let's give it a go. Okay, um, okay, uh, how to describe, I'm even trying to describe whether or not I like it or not, uh, no, I'm gonna go with no, I don't think I like it very much, but I don't, I like aspects of it, I like the complexity of it, I like that it does multiple things, because, and I've mentioned this before in other videos, 
you don't have to be a great drink or a great eating experience for me to at least appreciate what you're doing. It might not be to my palate, but I can at least appreciate, you know, the, the effort behind it, what's going on. This feels like that's the case with this. Um, because it, it is very floral. Not as floral as I've had, to be fair. But it definitely is kind of a floral taste. The problem with floral taste is they're sort of like lightly bitter. And I'm not a big fan of bitter stuff. I mean, it's fine if you counteract it with something, but with this, they really didn't. Um, so it's kind of a bitter drink. And I, I'll say this, if I was going to make a singular improvement, I would have liked, I mean, it's sparkling, I would have liked greater carbonation with it. I think that would have maybe made it kind of work a little bit better for me because it would have given something to offset it. Because as is, like, I'm sure that there's carbonation in there, but it's not significant. Yeah, it's got... Kind of a bitterness to it. And then, kind of at the very end, it has an aftertaste that's, there's only one way to put it, which is flowery. Um, like it, it kind of tastes like a flower smells, <laughs> which is weird to say. Uh, it's not awful. I will say that. Like I said, I think if it had been more sparkling, I personally could have gone with it more. Um has is like I don't hate it and it's not abrasively floral to its credit but it's still more floral than I would have liked without there being a counteracting aspect to it uh because like for instance like with moxie it's a it's an old-timey soda it's like from I think Maine or it, it, Stephen King likes it a lot um that I believe is like partially flavored with like a floral aspect to it and it works for me personally because there's other counteracting elements to it. With this, you really have to like floral drinks in order for this to work for you. Because there really isn't anything else in there that's, you know, providing a balance. It's, it's just a floral drink. <sighs> yeah. So it's kind of bitter almost to the point of being a little bit sour. Uh, it's not a bad drink. It's just, it's a very particular drink. This is something where, like, you really have to be the audience for this in order for this to work. Uh, if you are somebody who you enjoy, like, floral stuff and everything like that, like floral flavorings, I think this would be right up your alley because it really does focus on the floral aspect. It's not, it's not diluting it. Um... But if you're not someone who falls into that, or if you're someone like me who you can appreciate it, and in certain instances you can enjoy it, this might be a bit much. Because again, there's just, that's all it's providing. And while it is an interesting drink, and I enjoy the fact that there's different elements going on with it, uh, it's just not for me. Like it's it, like I said, it's, it's bitter and kind of sour. Um, you know, not hugely so. I don't want. I don't want to come off like it's, like just nothing but bitterness or anything like. That. It is. I'll say this. It's a nice drinking experience in terms of like the, uh, you know, the way it, you know flows through your mouth and such. It feels refreshing, but yeah, maybe if there had been more carbonation, I could have maybe gone with it as like almost being like a weird ginger ale kind of thing. But as is, it's just like I'll finish it for sure. But I, I don't I don't really like it very much. So uh yeah, that's yeah. Petal sparkling original rose, and then there's a bunch of wordy stuff written by the Yeah. So anyway, that's gonna do it for me on that one, folks. Uh five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. If you could go over there and have yourselves a truly moxie rest of your life. I don't have a moxie bottle around. I do have one in the house that I saved, but uh because for, for me personally, that's a much better floral-esque drinking experience than that. Uh, final two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But we do can't do it all the time. I know I can't do it all the time. Here's you folks. You try not to be an asshole, okay? 
It's not always an easy thing to do. Hell, it's not even a possible thing to do all the time. Because sometimes, folks, you just find yourself in a situation where you have to go over there and hulk out with your asshole out. And you just got to go over there and fucking let loose on the world a little bit. But, but, the key is try to mitigate those instances. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in your life. So that hopefully, hopefully we can all go over there and live together in this society that we've created and all that good stuff. So, very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Maybe you're going to go over there, folks. Maybe you're going to try some pedal. Okay? And uh, maybe it's going to be your favorite drink of all time. You're going to go over there and you're going <laughs> to... You're going to petition the pedal people uh, to go over there and be their new wordsmith on the back of their cans. Because quite fucking frankly, this is a bit much. And you're going to go over there and you're you're going to... Not only are you just going to go over there and write up little things, it's it's going to be it's going to be poetry on a can. And then maybe you go over there, you get recognized for your writing abilities. And you're over there, you know, you get like a book deal, and you know, you're doing all kinds of stuff. You know, may, maybe it's you know, maybe it's like true crime, maybe it's like romance, maybe it's fantasy, maybe you can do it all, all while drinking your petal sparkling original rose, what the fuck ever. Or conversely, you can go over there and do something completely different. Hey, folks, just go out and write some poetry. Maybe that's the thing that you want to do. Maybe that's what you want to do. Bye.